Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Bible journaling page for you, and I will go ahead and use these die cuts in my journaling today. And I went ahead and cut these down on my Big Shot machine, and I will tell you a little bit more about the die cuts that I am going to be using later, but I'm going to set these aside to work on the background. So I'm using some Distress Oxide inks to do that, and I did go ahead and prep the page off camera with some clear gesso. Now I've been experimenting quite a bit with the Distress Oxide inks in my Bible and I have been noticing some bleed through. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less um, due to I think when I go ahead and add the water in to give it that distressed splatter look I feel like that's when the bleed through happens. So if you apply too much water you're going to get more bleed through and yeah, so I don't mind personally when some of my mediums bleed through to the other side. I just create around that bleed through. I either go with the same color palette or I can add cardstock in or watercolor paper to do my journaling on the other side. That is just something I've been noticing and I thought I would go ahead and share that with you. So the Bible verse that I will be journaling today is in Isaiah and it is from Isaiah 2. Three. It says, many peoples will come and say, come let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his paths. So before we dive into that verse and talk a little bit about it, as you can see here in my Bible journaling, I'm just adding some water and splatter to get that fun distress ink look and I just love how it reacts to water it's just so fun so I went ahead and sprayed it and then I went ahead and just using the paintbrush to get more of the droplets and then I heat set that and got it to dry and then we're just using some more distress oxide inks here to add some dimension to the die cuts and this is the Lawn Fawn Road Borders die and I will be using this as a path on my page in a little bit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and create my scene. These are the Lawn Fawn Mountain Borders die. And then you're going to also see the My Favorite Things Grassy Edges die in a little bit. So as I create that scene, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about this first. So if you so as you read on in this passage, it's talking about nations being against each other, and it's talking about how people weren't putting God first. They were looking to false gods or idols, and a lot of times it talks about that in the Bible and the Old Testament, that people were putting other things before God, and God wants us to put him first and not other things. Um, so going back to that passage here, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God, of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his paths. And what, when I was reading this verse, the word come just stood out. Come to the Lord, come to God. We can put God first in everything and no matter what is going on around us. We can go to him with everything. And in that, he will teach us his ways so that we can walk in his paths. Yeah. It's not always easy to go to God. Sometimes we get so distracted with what is going on around us. And we get so lost in what is happening but we do need to go toward, towards God and come to him and lay out our worries and our and just talk to him. And then we'll be able to hear his voice and learn from him and hear his ways so that we can walk in accordance with God. So as you go into your week, just let that word settle in your heart. Come, 
come to God. Come to God this week. So, just working on the grass here. And laying everything down. And then you're going to see, after the grass is all placed, I'm going to put that word there again. Come. And it's going to be a visual on the page. I think it's so important to maybe just pick one, one word out of a Bible verse that really touches your heart so that you can remember to refer back to it and that you can remember to stay focused on God. So this simple word of come, how can that remind you to find God in your week and your day? So these are just some wood letters that I picked up at Dollarama, which is a Canadian dollar store, but I'm sure you can find them elsewhere. And you could also just do cardstock with some letters or stickers or anything. So then I just went ahead and glued these down and I was just playing around with where I wanted them. I wasn't sure if I wanted them to go on a diagonal down the path or right on the path but I just went ahead and put them straight down here and I really like how it turned out and it is a great reminder to come to the Lord with everything and to remember to put him first. Okay so the last thing that I will be doing to this journaling page today is adhering the wood letters with some liquid glue that I have in my collection and then that is going to finish off the page. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you join me here. And if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at any time. But a quick tip is there is a Gerber Daisy, a pink one in the corner of the video, and you can click on that and it'll help you subscribe and make sure that your notifications are turned on so you know when I upload next. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.